Diana. And Diane. And guess what the Saigon siblings have cooking up for you today? BBH. Do you even know <laughs> what BBH is? Well, let's go inside and find out. Good morning, everyone. I will teach you how to make bún bò huế, the almost famous Vietnamese soup. Of course, everyone knows about pho, but this is the up and coming, and I truly think it's a very dynamic and powerful flavor, very impactful, spicy, rich. You can make as spicy as you like, and that is from chili oil, which I will show you how to make. So this is the trick to making chili oil, whether it's for Chinese chili oil or in our case, bún bò huế, you hydrating it not with water because water contact with oil is disaster. So don't, don't use water. You can uh, let it sit for about five minutes, half hour, one hour, doesn't matter. It just as long as time permit. You so, probably ask, hey, what's the ingredient? Garlic, chili flake, and lemongrass. So you want to heat up, heat up the oil. People will say, how hot? I like it to be about 200 degree Fahrenheit. We put in the chili oil. Why? Because the chili will not burn as fast. And then after that, we put in the garlic and diced lemongrass. And if you want to be precise, I'm going to tell you then, okay? One, one, one. I'm going to combine together some lemongrass here. You reduce the heat and let it simmer for about 10 minutes. And then we, we have ready products. And this can be in your fridge for, oh my goodness, long time. Six months, five months. We season a little bit of salt because just oil and garlic doesn't taste very good. And if you like a little bit of sweetness in your chili oil, you put some sugar or rock sugar. See, look at this beautiful color there. Eating is part of it is about color, smell, taste, texture. I'm going to give you a tip on how to prepare the banana blossom. It's so crucial, you have to soak it in ice cold water along with lime. Don't worry about these seeds because when you soak it in cold water, all the seeds will be settled down and you just want the top portion. You want half or full lemon, lime, whatever you like. Remember, ice cold water and then let it soak. Otherwise, it's going to be very tart. That's what they do it with for eggplant as well, okay? Okay, we let it soak. Make sure we have the cilantro. We always eat this herbs called raw rum and with chicken, with duck. I know these mint family is difficult to come by. You can use basil, but mint has a little bit more intense flavor, okay? And if you have Tito, use it. You know, there's no wrong way, right way. Those are self-explanatory. You can add it to your side bowl, but for Vietnamese, definitely we must have the cabbage. So you, you remove the center and go into quarter. Then you cut into half and peel it. Don't peel it first because it's harder. Pretend this is a fan. You see how beautiful that is? It's up to you, but I think eating is about aesthetic and we need to make it beautiful. I'm gonna show you how to cut the lime as well at the restaurant. You dissect it in between and then you cut that into half and then here we go. Here's the key. See that? And then now you have a clean, beautiful lime and it really fast for me. Banana blossom has amazing texture and also it can hold a soup. It does not drown out after contact with water. When I see this right away, I think of Vietnamese food. Spicy, Spicy savory, and, and everything umami. And I'm the secret ingredient. Get out of here. Let's go see Chef Eric make the actual bumbo, eh?